Mm-hmm. I bet. Just a minute. It lives, I see. Do you want to speak with Lolita? I'm sorry, but Gabriel is allowed. Oh, I mean, he's out. Yeah, if he ever comes back, I'll tell him. You know, you could do better. I know I don't know you, but you could do better. Good morning. The phone's been ringing off the hook all morning. Let me know when you want your messages. Yeah. Gee, you're lively. Did you have another nightmare last night? Sort of. Mm-hmm. I told you it's that voodoo book you're researching. That stuff can seriously screw up your karma. I'm sure that's it. Maybe I should write a horror novel on passive resistance instead. <sighs> so don't sleep. It's your body. Anyway, your handheld tape recorder came today. Really? Great. I can't wait to see what human rights you violate with this one. I can't wait to violate them. For example, if you would just let me... And I located some local voodoo references for you. Dixieland Drugstore and the Historical Museum of Voodoo. Both are right here in French Quarter. How would I ever manage without you? You? Give me a break. The devil himself couldn't change you. Well, if the devil had great legs, perhaps. Like yours. And a riveting personality, I'm sure. Well, if you need any more research done, just ask. It's not as though we're swamped with customers. Times Pickle Hewn, dated June 18, 1993. The front page has an article about the voodoo murders. The article says that the victims are all identified as members of the underworld. The general public of New Orleans is in no danger. Police claim the so-called voodoo trappings found at the crime scenes are fake, a scare tactic, and that the murders are not associated with any genuine practitioners. Gabriel also scans the Aquarius horoscope for the day. Potential storms ahead. Proceed with caution and do not get involved with anything new at this time. Gabriel selects a volume of German poetry that he always found strangely compelling. Drei Drachen Drei Drachen kriechen in meinen Schlaf. Die Ziele wollen sie lebendig zum Fraß. Feurigen Atems, gespeltener Zunge, genießen sie jedes Mal. That's nice. Kind of creepy, though. Who's the author? Heinz Ritter. I'm not sure what it says, but I get the feeling the guy was one sick puppy. That shelf contains historical references, biographies of kings and queens, that sort of thing. The top shelf contains books on animals, including snakes and other reptiles. Gabriel pulls down a book on snakes. Snakes are legless reptiles. Some snakes kill their prey with poison, some by constriction. A snake smells by tasting the air with its forked tongue. The smells are passed back to a sense organ in the mouth. Constrictor snakes, however, sense their prey by vibration. Hmm. Did you know that medieval legends about dragons and giant worms are actually based on snakes? You know, dragons, devils, sea monsters, well, they've always been associated with snakes. Grace, get alive. Got 
a minute, Grace? What's up? What can you tell me about voodoo? I didn't know much of anything about it until you started researching it for your book. Now I know that it's active in the city. There's that shop, the museum. It can clearly be dangerous in the wrong hands. You should be careful investigating it. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Just what I read in the paper, same as you. What can you tell me about New Orleans? Well, I've only been here two months, but I love it. It's so much more alive than any place I've been. It feels like anything is possible here. Tell me about yourself, Grace. Yeah, right, Knight. I mean it. What do you want to know? How come we haven't gone out yet? I'm still waiting around for that lobotomy. As soon as I get it, I'll let you know. How do you like working at St. George's Books? Well, it's not exactly a huge intellectual challenge. Although the math in your record books could confuse Einstein. Still, I love old books, and it's a nice way to pay the bills while I'll explore the city for a summer. If you ever pay me, that is. What do you do after work? Well, I either go to my oil painting class or my Tai Chi. You know that. You know, you can go overboard with this improving yourself stuff. You don't want to alienate us mere mortals. I suppose I should just allow my mind and body to atrophy. Works for me. How old are you? Old enough to know about men like you. Just tell me anything at all. I just got my master's in history and classics. My folks wanted me to go on right away for my PhD, but 18 years of school was enough. I needed a break. Just I came to New Orleans because I'd read so much about it and I thought, you know, spending a few months here would clear my head. Just I've always wanted to do something really adventurous, you know? Something real life. I'm sick of libraries and lecture halls. Just my folks are traditional Japanese. I don't even remember Japan myself. I was three when we came to the States. I've been studying Tai Chi for 10 years. It's a very spiritual discipline. I'm sure discipline of any sort isn't something that would appeal to you, Gabriel. My folks want me to get married to a boy back east, Mark Kobayashi. His parents are traditional Japanese too. I might eventually, but right now... Nothing, I guess. Never mind. Suit yourself. Do you have messages for me? Dana called, and uh, Susie left a message about a lawsuit. Gossam. Okie dokie. There's more when you want them. Do you have more messages for me? Your grandmother called. I keep meaning to get over there. What did she say? Did she sound good? She sounded great, and we had a nice little chat about you. Grace. Don't worry. I didn't go into detail about your cardinal sins. Not that anything about you could surprise her. She adores you anyway. She's my girl. But she said to remind you to stop by and go through your father's things. Hmm. Okay. Do you have more messages for me? Here's a strange one. You got a call from someone named Wolfgang Ritter. He said he was calling from Germany. He told me it was urgent. Maybe you should give him a call. Call Germany, like hell. If it's really important, he'll call back. Well, fine. Let's just hope he's not with the German lottery for pitiful American authors. Do you have more messages for me? Your friend Detective Mosley called. Talking of visiting. Especially with you. What do you want? He left an interesting message. He told me to tell you that his mother's maiden name is Humphrey. Oh, that's H-U-M. P-H-R-E-Y. Fascinating. And that he left some photos for you at the station, at the front desk. It's about time. Gabriel, those photos wouldn't have anything to do with the voodoo murders, would they? Now, why would you say something like that? 
because I know you. You're getting privileged information, aren't you? Did you tell him you'd put him in your new voodoo book? A writer has certain obligation to his readers, you know. Gabriel, you know you'll never put him in your book. Your main character is a female orthodontist. You're going to be reincarnated as a pit bull if you keep screwing with your karma. As long as it's a male pit bull with a really big... That's enough. Thanks. Anyway, that's all the messages. Thank God. Gabriel looks at the cash register, checking for cobwebs. Gabriel opens the cash register to examine the take. Or, in the case of St. George Books, the mistake. It's a gift certificate left over from yet another dismal failure of a promotion. I trust you can live without this old gift certificate. Knock yourself out. The magnifying glass is a handy item for reading old manuscripts or the fine print on Gabriel's leaves. Mind if I borrow the magnifying glass? No, Sherlock. Just bring it back when we get the next estate shipment. No problem. There's a pair of tweezers on the counter. Grace uses them for book repair work. I'm going to take the tweezers for a bit. Good. You're beginning to look a little scruffy. Just trying to make you feel at home. Three snakes in a skull. Gabriel's father painted it. What a wacky, offbeat kind of guy Daddy was. Under the window are reference books, dictionaries, foreign language dictionaries, quotation books, and others. Gabriel borrows them often when he's writing. Gabriel leaps through a German-English dictionary. Let's see, mid-tag means midday noon. Gabriel leaps through a German-English dictionary. Spiel means game. Interesting. Gabriel Himmel means heaven. Possessing means possessed. That's handy to know. Drachen means dragons. I wonder if Mosley would know he was being insulted if I called him Drachenbread. I've got some things I need to do. Good luck. <laughs>